Hi everybody. I am uh, going to demo to you how easy it is to apply the Ultra Cortex Mark III and connect it to the OpenBCI GUI that's built in processing. So here is my Ultra Cortex Mark III. It is optimized uh, for my head size and shape. I'm gonna put it on. And uh, if I want to, if it's uncomfortable, I can adjust any of the knobs to make them looser or tighter if need be. Here I'm going to connect my ground and my reference electrodes to my ears. And then I am going to fire up the OpenBCI GUI. So now once I'm in the GUI, I have the option to uh, connect to an OpenBCI device with live data, select a playback file from a pre-recorded session or generate synthetic data. Uh, in this case, I'm going to connect to the OpenBCI device. So in order to find my serial port, I have to plug my dongle in. I can then refresh the list and there's my device. And then I need to turn my OpenBCI board on. So now, if I click Start System, you'll notice that uh, once the radio finds the device, you'll see the registers of the OpenBCI board printing. And now I am in the GUI and connected to the OpenBCI device. So I, if I click Start Data Stream, you can see that I am now streaming eight channels of EEG data from the OpenBCI device, which is mounted in the Ultra Cortex. So up here, I have the option to adjust some settings. I can change the bandpass filter. In this case, I'm gonna look at a range between five and 50 hertz. If I'm somewhere else in the world, I can switch the notch filter to get rid of environmental noise to 50 hertz. Uh, I'm gonna switch it back to 60. Here I can adjust the vertical scale of the graph to uh, better see the data. Uh, and then there's some other settings over here. So, uh, now what you're looking at is eight channels, and as you can see, they are mapped to channels one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and to channels one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so the first thing I'm going to demo is just some simple eye blinks. If I blink my eyes, you can see those very distinct EMG artifacts in channels one and two, and you'll also be able to see the uh, opacity of the color in the heat map of my head light up as those signals get stronger. Uh, so now what I'm, I'm going to do is uh, demonstrate jaw grit, so more EMG artifacts. So if I grit my teeth, you can see that each time I do that, I generate a huge EMG artifact in all eight channels. Uh, now I can also, if I turn the scale down, I can also ease that in so I have uh, a certain analog control over the data. And so you'll see that those signals are actually strongest in channels three and four, these locations, because they're closest, those channels are closest to the muscles that are producing that EMG artifact. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is demonstrate a brainwave. So if you look down at the FFT plot down here at about 10 hertz, if I close my eyes, you'll see a spike uh, of data primarily in channels five, six, seven, and eight, because those channels are over my visual cortex. But if I close my eyes, you should see a spike around 10 hertz. And there it is. So that's alpha brainwave. Um, and so there are a number of other things that you can do, as in uh, check leadoff detection, turn channels on and off. Uh, you can scale the frequency domain. Uh, and there you, there's our 60 hertz. Uh, signal that's being filtered out in the time domain but you can still see it in the FFT um, but yeah it's as simple as that and as you can see I was able to get eight channels of EEG data up and running in under 30 seconds thank you